Hello, and welcome to Backseat Gamer. It's What's for Dinner. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. But you can't eat a recording? That's ridiculous. I mean, you can if you put it on uh, physical media. Uh, Jason Amherst. I guess so. I accidentally the whole thing. I accidentally a word. I ate the sandbox. Oh. <laughs> I a million the sandbox. Oh, now what? I infinity plus one the sandbox. You can't infinity <laughs> plus one. It's already infinity. You can't add in another thing to infinity. Yes, you can. No, you can't. You, you can't if triple you stamp enough. a double stamp. You cannot triple um, stamp a double stamp. I divide by zero the sandbox. Oh, God, no. The sandbox <laughs> is going to implode. <laughs> oh, excuse me, one shit. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you oh, neg- d- divide by zero in a sandbox? I can't believe I found you. I mean, it could be worse. I could square root of pi <laughs> the sandbox. Oh, you bastard. You unbelievable bastard. Stop mathing. In the sandbox. I don't know how I That's better that. than what they do around here. They, they around here they <laughs> meth in the sandbox. Down. Around here they meth in the sandbox. <laughs> That's where they grow the shit or cook it. This this guy looks this guy looks pretty methed. I he's dying is why. No way. Ah. I'm staying up here. It's Maybe you should help him die. Sure. I didn't even think twice about that. I turned around and shot him. No way, I'm staying up here. Uh! <laughs> you sure it's safer up here, buddy? <laughs> Doesn't look too safe. You know, this this whole thing just reminds me of... Uh, it, it, it seems like somebody on uh, Atlas got inspired with uh, the Shin Megami Tensei series. Because uh, they made a game called Strange Journey uh, on the DS, and then later a uh, enhanced version with added extra storyline dealies uh, for the 3DS, uh, Strange Journey Redux. And it's it's basically, what if Shin Megami Tensei were Doom? Uh, like... You you've got a, like a a crazy space suit type thing, and you're fighting demons in hell, in the South Pole. It's Ooh, it's it's freaking weird, and it's a first person dungeon crawler. So it's like it's still an RPG, but it, but it's but it's like the old school like first person corridor crawling type thing. I don't know. Everybody always just names their main character Doom Guy whenever they play uh, Strange Journey. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Which is funny because that's, that's this, like the meta of that game. This is the only Doom game uh, that where the main character actually fucking talks and has a name and well has a name that wasn't like given to him by a fucking novel. I'm, I'm we, surprised assume, there hasn't been yet another attempt at Doom for, like, a movie right. or something. Uh, a CG one would probably be okay. I don't know about live action. Live action Especially after, though. like, two seasons of Halo. I was going to say... Uh, no, I don't actually remember what I was going to say now. Oh, yeah, I said, we all know by this point that the, the Doom guy's name is Flynn Taggart. Because that was the, his name in the novel. Mm. In the novelization of the game, so that it's been taken that that's canon, that that's his name. Huh. This, this Funny gun, that it's Flynn this, just... this gun is better than the shotgun. I'm, it's, it's so unfortunate. Reminds me of the, the uh... shitty reload times. What was it? The RCP ninety in uh, Goldeneye. Yes, that's one of my favorite guns in Goldeneye, actually, is the RCP-90. Yeah. It's a good gun. Very good. One of the best. That and the Club. I really like the Club. But I think that's more the just the fun. name because of the name. Because it's named after somebody who worked on the game, Ken Lobb. Ken Lobb, yeah. Yeah, reload that bitch. Yeah, reload time on this is much better than the shotgun. Shotgun, you gotta wait for him to load every shell individually. It's ridiculous. 
Uh, I'm surprised you haven't done a playthrough of uh, Goldeneye yet, actually. Uh, we did on MVG Live. I don't know if we beat it, though. And if we were going to do that, uh, I'd I probably want to uh, do I, the updated I, one. If I, I don't remember. It. Oh, uh... Well, yeah, there's there's the uh, version that leaked online uh, for the Xbox 360 emulator. Right. That one. Uh, that one's that one's pretty damn good, actually. I, I oh. tried that out. Um, uh, Locker seventeen. Hmm. Uh, let me let me pull the wiki back up. Wasn't there a Bond game that was getting um, made fun of because it was like. Oh, Daniel uh, 347. What is it? 347. Okay. There, somebody was, people were dunking on a Bond game that was supposed to be coming out because it was depicting all these classic Bond movies, but it was just Daniel Craig in all of them. Well, uh, uh, that would be 007 Legends, I think. Yeah, I can't remember which one it was, but basically it was MGM or or uh, maybe it was uh, uh, Broccoli uh, Eon Productions. That their uh, edict was basically, oh, James Bond has to be the James Bond of the time in whatever product comes out. It can't be anybody else. But see, like. If you were that's, to... that's why Goldeneye Rogue Agent got rid of Pierce Brosnan. That's just re that's ridiculous, though. Yeah, the really shitty Call of Duty clone that they released that was supposed to be a remake of Goldeneye. Yep, it's like that was because you... that was because they had to be like, nope, it can't be Pierce Brosnan. That might confuse people. Oh, no. Pierce Brosnan was in Goldeneye, and this is Goldeneye. You made From Russia with Love the game with freaking Sean Connery in it. Don't tell me you can't fucking make a James Bond game with the right James Bond in the role. Roger Moore was in Live and Let Die. Put fucking Roger Moore in the video game. Yes, correct. Oh, uh, weapon storage? Is there? Do you have a code for that? Uh, hold on. A security code door, not a not a locker. Uh, five eighty four. Hurrah! Hey, I don't uh, think I picked up a single thing in there. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste of time that was. Connection established. Oh, Marie. I can't believe you're still alive. Yes, I, I miss the days of oh. playing PC games, though, where they shoehorned in FMVs with live-action actors. Mm-hmm. Spies! God damn it, I was about to say that. <sighs> oh, that's a good job. Good Spies! Yeah, George Takei was in the same game, I believe. Oh my, Spice. Spice! And then, uh, I, I, I... then there was uh, Wing Commander with Mark Hamill. What was the one where Christopher Walken was just ram rambling? Some kind of a Jack the Ripper inspired game? I don't remember. I don't he, remember. Oh, yeah, actually, it was literally Cole Ripper. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh. Please worry, worry. Oh, yeah. Worry. 1996, point and click. Oh, my God. For, uh, was in the movie. For DOS and Macintosh. Wow. What a cast, actually. Christopher Walken, Paul Giamatti. Burgess Meredith, John Reese davies Ozzy Davies. Jesus. And, of course, Blue Oyster Cult's Don't Fear the Reaper. Mm-hmm. The game, the game shipped on six CDs! Jesus. It's a lot of uh, CDs. CDs nuts. They, they, they announced <laughs> ports for Saturn and PlayStation, but they never shipped. Probably because oh, yeah. they would have had to ship on, like, 
84 CDs. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Probably because they realized, oh, this is the Sega Saturn. It's stupid. Let's not. Please insert disc 92. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you remember those days in the PlayStation where you're playing a game and, like, at a really pivotal moment, it's like, stop, insert disc 2. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, like, I, I played a ton of them because, like, Final Fantasy's... Seven, eight, and nine were all multi-disc games. Parasite Eve one and two were like two-disc games. Uh, Chrono Cross was a two-disc game. Um, Legend of Dragoon was four discs. Oh man, mm. Super Turkey Puncher is out of order. <laughs> Damn it. Super Turkey Puncher. Uh. Not the turkey punch. So apparently that game got like uh, an average of 71 across all of its reviews. What, Super Turkey Punch? Which isn't bad. No, uh, Ripper. Oh. Well, I wonder, is, is, is that actually available anywhere now? Like, let me see. That's a good question. Uh, <clears throat> huh. Ripper, the inside story of the egregiously bad video game. Uh oh. Well, there you go. I mean, uh, uh, oldgames.com, Ripper download. Hmm. Yeah, you know, just, just imagine, uh, all the uh, people living going through a convention. Here is one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Going to a convention and meeting like John Reese Davies and uh Hey, do you remember that you were in Ripper? You know, <laughs> can, can you sign my copy of Ripper? What the fuck? <clears throat> I enjoy your impression of John Reese Davies. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome. Just trying my best to sound like the AOL voice. I Welcome. can just imagine going up to Christopher Walken. Be like, I, yeah, Mr. Walken. I, I love doing Ripper. Oh, well, thank you. I remember I recorded like 500 hours of dialogue for that game, and they only used <laughs> 20. Those bastards. <laughs> Here's a website where you can actually download it from. Excuse oh, me Jesus. one second. All right. <laughs> runs at runs on DOSBox. Oh man, are you suggesting I play it on the show? <laughs> I mean, it could be funny. I don't know. Hi, <laughs> I'm Christopher Walken. I'm in your DOSBox. It says uh, the only major complaint I have with the game is that the animations for moving between areas are obscenely slow and worse, unskippable. What I find doubly ludicrous about this is that one thing you can skip, dialogue scenes. You know, the one thing you wouldn't want to skip. That's stupid. <laughs> wow. What the hell were they thinking? Uh, a well-made, entertaining, and gripping adventure game that's worth ch checking out. Campy as hell, like some lost 90s Saturday night sci-fi horror flick, but that's part of the charm. I mean, it's it's worth playing on here just because, I mean, we, we have Christopher Walken with us on the call. <laughs> hi. He actually stepped out of the room for a second, but yeah, he stepped yeah, out of the room. Hi, you're you're not wrong. I am here to to watch you what? play. Oh, was it, who, who's Ripper. The, who's the... It's okay. Uh, I was saying uh, I, I'm here. R Ripper would be worth uh, Ripper would be worth you playing know, just because we have Christopher Walken on the call. It's true. Mike would, Mike, would you play that game if we had the the ability to do it? Apparently, it's playable through DOSBox, so we do have the ability to do it. Well, then... I'm, I'm considering it. 
I, let's fucking do it because I would love to see that. <laughs> oh, an old Hello. '90s FMV game with Christopher Walken and an all-star <laughs> cast. Yeah, sure. <laughs> wow. Hey, look at this. I got a residual check for seven cents in the mail. I guess somebody downloaded the game Ripa. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, like nobody, it's considered abandonware. So, like, it's just a free download. Yay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, Take Two Software, I guess, or Take Two Interactive had the rights and isn't doing anything with it anymore. You know, they're they're not gonna be like breaking down doors. Going, oh my God, you downloaded Ripper! <laughs> <It's not. laughs> hey, like, why don't we? Uh... Think, they got, they got, fuck you, I got fucking GTA money. You know, Listen, they, they should, don't give you shit buy the about rights to, uh, We should buy the rights to Ripper. We'll do that. <laughs> buy the rights to Ripper. I kind of wonder if we could. wonder how affordable they are. 20 bucks. All right, sweet. I, I own mean, Ripper now. To, to be fair, I mean, the, these are the kind of games that are, are you know, eventually... If they get enough buzz, sometimes get these HD remasters like Plumbers Don't Wear Ties, which is a hilarious playthrough, I might add. I know, Mike, that you, you're hesitant because it might not be long enough to play, but the game is fucking hilarious. And I think you would get a lot of use out of it. Even you get at least two episodes out of it, in my opinion. One episode of playing the weird uh, Windows 95 Dungeon Explorer minigame, and then an episode of uh, actually playing the game. You now, Doctor, the UAC over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? Operation? Oh, you, you gotta play the game first, because that's how you get the money to unlock the things in the, the uh, Dungeon Explorer. Operation. You, you have to get plumber bucks. Mike, Mike is contemplating the universe right now. I think I do understand. <laughs> Me meanwhile, I've already dumped money on uh, a, a uh, another old school uh, experience. Yeah. Arzette and Jewel of Faramore. Ah. It's it's uh, the game from CDI Entertainment. Or mm -hmm. CDI software, whatever their name is. It's uh, featuring the composer and some of the voices of the actual Zelda CDI games. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You told me about this. Yeah, but I won't be playing it until November when my actual replica CDI controller comes in. I can't wait to dump uh. some babongos. My boy, my boy, my, my, my boy. My, my, my. Do dong some babongos just sounds like another, uh, like, phrase for getting a tit job. <laughs> Either that or just a really, really weird porno. I don't know what a babongo is, but I'll win a dong. <laughs> dong. Dong, 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 dong. Uh, turn my flashlight back on. Fuck. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Wait a second, wait a second. Here we go. Here's the actual sound I was looking for. Dong. There's nothing you can do for me. <laughs> oh, God. How lovely. Surprised us. This came out of nowhere. Oh, that's just the hourly song. The hourly it's the machine dong. that goes. It's the machine that goes ping. Well, uh, that's that's from uh, Glass Onion. No, I, I, no, I know. I was quoting Monty Python's Meaning of Life. Oh yeah, yeah. Never even heard of ass uh, ass onion. Yeah, sure. You never, you never heard of ass. Ask Lunyon. Mmm. <laughs> Sounds delicious. I think I, I think I suffer from. You know, it's a, it's a fentanyl movie. 
<laughs> I don't know. Lock at number 13, please. <sighs> what, one, one moment, please. You're welcome. One moment, please. Uh, 586. 586. How many cents? Ooh, I have Granada. By by that I I mean grenades, of course, not Granada, a country. That would be weird. Hello, Mara. Hello, Fata. I I invaded. I just got some... Some granadas. Everybody bent a biscuit. Then I bought some cheese and had a box of triscuits. All right. Uh, Marge, at least I get granada. Where were you in the war between wheat thins and triscuits? I'm more of a cheese it guy. Cheese it. Well, I'm. We're we're talking solely about crackers that you can like top with things like cheese or or pepperoni. They, they or... make big cheese its. Well, can, yeah, I mean, but you, I don't want to put shit on those. Cheez-its. Those already are have a cheese. They already are have cheese in them. Yes, because English is strong suit mine. Hmm. I'm talking Isn't about that... things like. Triscuits or wheat thins. Yeah, or... but, but you can top cheese its with like meat. Yeah. No, he's no. not wrong. I what, know he's not wrong, what, but it doesn't sound appealing to me. Boards? I know he's not I, wrong, know, but it doesn't sound appealing. I suppose it would depend on the kind of meat. Yeah, I mean, with regular Wait. with triscuits, you can put whatever you fucking want on them, and it's still it's still good. It's there to complement the cracker. The cracker itself doesn't need to have a taste. If you're putting well, things what, on what it. About, what about clubhouse crackers, then? That's why you don't typically eat them alone. Like, you can eat Triscuits alone, but they're rather bland. you got to put something on them. Cheez-Its, I don't need What about? Them. What about clubhouse crackers? Uh, again, those are fine by themselves, but they're, they're, they're better with a topping. You know, you know, I'm I I'm have... I'm rather kind of boring. I just prefer Ritz with peanut butter, but that's just me. Ritz are good. I happen. Ritz are good. With I peanut happen butter. to like. Uh, I like uh, clubhouse crackers with peanut butter. They're pretty good, like that. I can't fault you. My favorite thing is putting is pepper jack cheese on chicken in a biscuit. Mm. Chicken in a biscuit. You ever remember chicken, chicken in a biscuit? biscuit? Remember the chicken in a biscuit? It never it never went away. Yeah, so you do remember it then. I guess Just I because it's still a current product doesn't mean you can't remember it. Nope, it's current product, I guess, not in my memories. I guess the way you said it, it sounded like that they're no longer available. Oh, they're definitely available. I, I, I see them constantly in stores. Mm-hmm. Yes, I remember yes. Bubblegum's Duck. <laughs> you know what I remember? Big League Chew. Big League Jews here? <laughs> no, nah, man, I said, hey, Blinken, all the race. <laughs> White men can't jump. <laughs> I still oh, don't Lord have mercy. the right PDAs for these doors. Blows. This game is crazy. Yeah, you, you don't even really you don't really end up even going to hell from a lot of it. That's that was the issue I had with I had with this game is that like you spent a lot of Doom sixty four in hell. You spend a lot of the first two games in hell, like about half of the first two games you spend in hell. This one, I think you're there for like three levels, and that's it. Hmm. 
That's it's like it didn't uh, really feel like I mean, a Doom game to me. Felt like a feels like a Call of Duty game that you just you coincidentally you end up in hell. I <laughs> games. You know, like you do. I mean, is is isn't that any Call of Duty game? Like, if you're playing Call of Duty, you are in hell by default. I mean, that's... No, that's nobody not plays those games statement. for fun. No, you go, you play you play those games so you can get called, you know, homosexual slurs by eight-year-old kids. That's I fucked it. your mom! I fucked your mom! I fucked, I your, fucked your, mom. your mom! You're such a beep! <laughs> My dad owns Microsoft. Yeah, your dad is Microsoft. <laughs> okay, so so speaking of shit kids say, here's another thing that will blow your mind. Oh, hi, Pinky. That these middle schoolers uh, have, have said to one of my friends, who's a teacher, <laughs> why are you white? Uh, hmm. Because I'm Irish. And that's how it works. Now, keep in mind, he is teaching in Los Angeles, and his last name is Garcia, because he's Portuguese. Portuguese. Listen here. Yeah. You are dead. And they're like, they're like, why are you white? Like, (laughs) uh, what? Because because God stole my color. (laughs) Because God decided I was not to be any good at basketball. The only sport I'm good at is hockey. Well, shit, I'm not even good at that. <laughs> okay, fine. Somalian toe wrestling. I am good at pocket pool and not much else. <laughs> <sighs> uh... No, actually... That's not entirely true. I'm decent at darts, but that just makes me even more wild. Aren't you really good at bowling? I am fairly good at bowling. I'm not going to say I'm very good at it, but yeah, I'm I'm fairly. I can hold my own. <laughs> okay. And, and I usually do. Oh. One day. One day. Uh, the Martian buddy. Is there a code for the Martian buddy locker? Because this is the one. I uh, don't think you. Can oh get. five oh eight. Oh, is it? Okay. Yep. Do 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 do. Gets me the chain gun early. <laughs> oh la 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 la. Ah yes. Ah 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 ah. Ooh 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 ooh. So, Sonic is doing a blackout slush for the solar eclipse. For some reason, my brain thought you meant Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm like, why the fuck is he doing (laughs) sweet treats? That makes no sense. That's no good. Yeah, the April 8th solar eclipse, apparently. Which, which has already happened by the time you're seeing this episode. Yeah. Yep. Uh, this is a total eclipse. Of the heart. Uh, knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Thanks, Dane. <laughs> You're <me> welcome. <laughs> uh says it will be available at participating locations March 25th through May 5th. Uh, they will hand out free solar eclipse viewing glasses with every purchase while supplies last. Well, isn't that special? Yep. It, it apparently is dragon fruit and cotton candy flavored. It's dragon... It's sack across your face. I knew you were going to say that. Thanks, Jake. You're, you're welcome. No. <laughs> wow, geez, you sound suspicious that I can like. I know, it's isn't weird. it wonderful? This is just one of the voices uh, I can do. Oh. <laughs> Sonic <laughs> location in Crown Point, Indiana, gave TikTok viewers a sneak peek of the inky black drink. 
Uh, I would not dessert with a pump of. Bl- I don't know that I would. Syrup. I don't know that I would drink a dis- a drink that was described as inky. I'll be like, dude, uh, wasn't that one of the ghosts in Pac Man? Dude, that did that come out <laughs> a of a pump of thing? blackout syrup, a layer of slush, a swirl of soft serve, and a topping of space themed sprinkles in black, blue, and I, purple. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for the Clyde flavored drink. <laughs> nah, Clyde flavored drink is so good. It's gonna be it's gonna be a bit because they gotta get through Blinky and Pinky first. And... I love the comments that they decided to highlight for this drink, uh, according to uh, according to uh, TikTok. <laughs> top, top highlighted comment: This is shit. <laughs> this looks like someone's persona, and I don't even know how to explain it. It is Sonic. Oof. Uh, I work at Sonic, tried it today. The syrup smells like straight up cherry cough syrup, but it tastes so good. So good. Got it. A Sonic worker wrote, man, my hands are going to be stained. This, well, don't. Uh, the green undertones remind me of Crayola markers. Can you imagine? This drink that makes dude. me want to, this drink makes me want to punch a baby. Joe Biden. Hmm. <laughs> uh, why, uh, is this... your, why is your wiener purple? Right, now, I uh, now, drank one... that drink from Sonic and then I jacked off. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, considering uh, me... the fact that people on TikTok were trying to make the Shamrock Shake into the next Grimace Shake meme, I'm surprised people aren't taking the blackout slush I, and trying to meme with it the I same way. These, I need these people to leave uh, the Shamrock Man, Shake. Yeah, that too. But I also need these people to leave uh, the Shamrock Shake alone because I love the Shamrock Shake. It's delicious. You, you can, you can have your much. toothpaste shake. I, I honestly... Mint milkshake just sounds awful to me. It makes my stomach like do flip flops okay. even thinking about it. That's that's like your opinion, man. Uh, personally, I love Shamrock Shakes. One of my favorite things. It's, then again, it's, like my mom likes mint chocolate chips. So... Mint chocolate. Mm. Mint chocolate. My mom loves mint chocolate chip. Oh my god, King! What? This is a King. My face is starting to fall off. Eh, that's okay. I had a heart attack myself. So. Oh. <laughs> so uh, J- JR's melting again. Yep. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Excalibur, uh, could you break out the uh, ice packs? I think JR's melted again. <laughs> okay, I did this. Okay, Taz. Why is why is Excalibur Bobby Hill? <laughs> Damn it, Excalibur. <laughs> I, told you, Excalibur. I told you to shut I'll up. You. Excalibur, you're a Dorcas in a mask. <laughs> you know, if, if I didn't have car issues and, you know, that that's the one thing that disappoints me right now, I would totally go to freaking AEW's show coming up in Worcester. Because they're doing both freaking... Dynamite and Rampage, or uh, Dynamite and Collision, back to back that night. I didn't have uh, car issues and daddy issues and oh, wait, what? And back magazine issues. Yep. Car issues and, and daddy issues and the corn and, back issues. and the corn album issues. That's nothing. My car is follow the leader issues. Oh man. Man. That's that what it sounds like when you try to start the car? It just goes. <laughs> it's true. Uh, it's just reminding me of that one clip of that VTuber, uh, Nyanners Goes Feral. And somebody somebody just asked her in the chat, hey, can you do that thing from that one corn song? And she just starts going. <laughs> well, you know. It's funny, I uh, my car has this new uh, Our Lady Peace GPS. 
at the next light, make a right. <laughs> But then it tells me Superman's dead. I don't know why. <laughs> and then it tells me the world is a subway. And then I get back to my house and it and says, it more. and then I get back to my house and it asks, is anybody home? <laughs> you know, anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then there's more. Rain Maida did not have a stroke in the middle of singing that song, okay? <laughs> and then there's Maud. And then there's Maud. And then there's Maud. She's my he a he a he. My and then there's mods for the game. My favorite kind of tuna is mahi mahi a he. <laughs> My favorite kind of sushi is Mayahu. 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 As opposed oh. to when Michael Jackson sang that song, he said, Mayahu. Allegedly. Allegedly. That's ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly, I sing that song. Allegedly. I'm making a new movie based off of a classic I, 80s cartoon. I, it's called Hee Hee Man. <laughs> His superpower is easy to touch his kids inappropriately. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, that's ignorant. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to air on Nickelodeon. Oh, and it's executive produced by Dan Schneider. <laughs> Listen, Orko, I want you to show your feet. Yeah, give me your delicious but feet. Have, but I don't have feet. The prevalent joke at XCW this past weekend was was Dan Schneider's. We were all just like, give us your delicious feet. Feet. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm just thinking of uh, there's there's a series of animated videos making fun of like real life facts about animals called like natural habitat shorts, and uh, there's this like really creepy chipmunk that doesn't talk. The name is Simon, and all it says is mouth, and like it gave the rabbit PTSD. When it like shoved its hands in its mouth in the Halloween episode, and like mm -hmm. now, now I've just got this image in my head of like Dan Schneider going like feet, <laughs> and, like doing. The I'm same dirty, thing. Dan. <laughs> well, that that just completely recontextualizes that SpongeBob scene. I'm dirty, Dan. No, I'm dirty, Dan. Oh, no, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Dan Schneider, and I'm actually Dirty Dan. Uh, hi there, I'm Dan Marino. I am, in fact, Dirty Dan. So, no, yes, maybe. Maybe. You're not, dirtier, <laughs> you're not a dirtier Dan than Dan Schneider. <laughs> That's true. That's a rahi ahi ahi. Oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, locker number nine. Uh, number nine. Uh, uh, number nine. Uh, uh, Number nine. Uh, I would like nine. a hat. I would like a hat with a plum in it, floating in a perfume. Uh, 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 Seven fifty-two. Uh, All right, uh, fucking uh, calm down, Barney. Uh, uh, <laughs> Stop it! It's a lot of burping. Yes, I can just do that on command. That's 
uh, fucking useless. That's <laughs> uh, that's gross. Fucking, fucking useless thing that I can do. Just burp whenever I want. Whoa. It's it's you oh know my. a skill that. When does this turn into a grindhouse trailer? Uh oh. Oh. Phew. Right. <laughs> it was just a chair and an imp. It's fine. Uh, he looks friendly. Anyway. <laughs> this 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 Doom game doesn't even look like Doom. Yeah, I know. That was a lot of people's issue with it. But the thing is, it's like it's not that bad. It's not the obviously it's not it's the worst of the Doom games, like I said, but it's it's really not that like bad. Like, call it by any other name, and it would actually be decent. Yeah, if this was like, uh, uh, Shmegma Wars, The Final Battle, I would get behind that. This would be probably an instant classic. But... Well, that that would that would mean that there's there's more than one Shmegma War game. I mean, there is. They were all on, uh, DOS, though. It was like Duke Nukem. The first two games were a DOS side-scroller, and then they went to first-person shooter. It's the same thing with Shmegma Wars. The final battle was the only they... one that was a first-person shooter. The others were side scrollers. Okay. Glad we covered that. <clears throat> um, thank you for thank you for clarifying. You're that, that was that was uh, that was a speed run through the uh, history. Yes. See, Schmegma Wars was originally on the CDI. That's why nobody played I it. I thought it was on the uh, 3DO. And, well, it was also ported to the Wonder Swan. Ooh, bet you didn't know that. Oh, uh, that was an underrated handheld what? that nobody Wonder bought Swan. in America. Mm -hmm. Fun fact: um, Smegma War Seven. Wow! <laughs> wow! We have a winner for someone more depraved than Dan Schneider. Who? who, who, who? Ohio Chick Fil A owner Stacy Austin has been arrested for driving over 400 miles to North Carolina with ill intentions to meet a 15-year-old child on a Sunday. Oh. That's why they're closed on Sundays. It all makes sense now, and it's also fucking disgusting. Well, Chick-fil-A is a fucking disgusting company to begin with. It's true. They want to electrocute all the gays, so... That's right. I almost said they want to electrify all the gays. I think that would... That would be... They'd be an improved because they'd be able to just shock people, like shoot lightning out of their fingers. That'd be fucking cool. They'd be able to... The I, more people would want to be gay if you could do that, you know? That would be awesome. Sure. It would be. They're okay. opening a Chick-fil-A in my fucking town. There's somebody uh, should somebody I, should graffiti on it put Chick-fil-A. No, because everybody just, around here loves Chick-fil-A, and that's the problem. It's like nobody cares that they want to get rid of all the gay people. There's tons yeah, of gay no, people that I, live around here, too, and that's it's stupid. But but I, I responded to a Facebook post about how like Chick Fil A wants to put one in the parking lot of the mall where oh, I live, God. and I'm like, and I'm like, no, that's just going to make the traffic in the area worse, just I'm like it made the traffic at, uh, in the other shopping plaza worse. I'm looking at this picture of Stacy Austin. It, it looks exactly like a Stacy Austin. Is it a man or a woman? It's a man. Okay. <laughs> but really it's like the the restaurant that was there before it I mean the place has been like inactive for probably over a little over a year but it used mm. to be a steak and shake a steak and shake well the problem with that is, is there's now Culver's right across the street that does Steak burgers better than Steak and Shake does, so they really didn't have any choice. It's not like they could reopen and 
I mean, their biggest yeah, competition see, they, would be right across the street, and they'd probably get slaughtered. They want to replace what used to be a Sears Auto Care Center with a Chick Fil A on the corner of an extremely busy intersection. So what you're saying is, is if I take my car in there now, am I stuck? Where am I? What happened? If you take your car in there, you will be stuck. Yeah. I can't move. Oops. I can't you move. Broke it. I can't move. Okay. I can't move though. I can't move. Oh, what no. have you done? Help! 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 I can't even jump. Um, I'm gonna create a save file and see if I can load that save. Uh, okay, I don't know. Oh, that's way too far back. Hold on. Now, that was an autosave. Hold on. What fucking was save? Was it UAC administration? No, because that, that's... Oh, this is the save. Nope, still stuck. Oh, no. God damn it. How the hell did that happen? I wonder how far back this is going to set me. To the beginning of the level. Lovely. Alright. God, this game is buggy as fuck. Yep, if this, it, if this, not wasn't, it, not if this wasn't from before friggin' Bethesda, I'd swear it was a Bethesda game. Not only is it buggy as fuck, it's also fuggy as buck. What about Uncle Ball? Fuck Buggy. Please follow UAC procedures. Fuck Buggy. You're the one. <laughs> Little brown. Now, now that is it. Now that is a key road trip game. Fuck Buggy. Uh, I play Punch Buggy. The fuck are you guys doing on road trips? <laughs> Um, oh, there's a VW Beetle. Let's have sex. That's not how it works. <laughs> giggity, giggity, goo. Linda, I'm driving. I can't fuck you right now. <laughs> oh, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Throw your fuck, Bobby. <laughs> no, fuck, fuck. <laughs> that was just... <laughs> <laughs> I'll give me your blur sock, buddy. Why don't you lick my ball sock? Please stop. <laughs> to be fair, she is the kind of gremlin that would probably say lick my balls. Uh, what was this one again? Okay. Okay. Uh, was that, um, uh, 752. Let's do a twist. Come on, baby. You're a twist. Suck my dick. Eat my <laughs> shit. Suck my shit and my dick. So lick my tight. Come on, baby. Fall Let's, my lick. Balls. Let's lick my taint. Come on, baby. Let's lick my taint. Take me by my hair. Take me by my Take me by all the scrotal hairs. And go like this. Exactly. Uh, no, oh, no, nobody, nobody, nobody wants to do the testicular nobody, twist. Nobody, nobody. It's nobody. Called, it's, well, called, uh, it's called testicular torsion. It's not fun. Yeah. You see. Warning. EPD laser active. When did it become a meme, though? Because I've seen some pictures making fun of that recently. Testicular torsion? Testicular torsion, yeah. 
I don't know, and I don't want to know. I mean, like, I, I know that they made fun of it years ago, uh, complete with a PSA at the end of the episode about it uh, in Venture Brothers. But other than that, like, I, I saw, like, memes about it recently, and I'm going, like, when did this become a thing? There's nothing I like more than getting my junk up. Yeah, he fucking imp. I think it's kind of fucked up that your nuts can get tied in a knot. <laughs> and a big old nut knot. I don't want the nut knot. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be Dr. Girlfriend, now I'm Dr. What? Like, Doc, Dr. Mrs. The Monarch. Dr. Mrs. Yes, yeah, sorry. sorry. I, I still I need think, to watch I that finale movie name. that they made. I sound like I smoked a pack a second, but it's okay. I mean, the, I thought you were going to joke is that I'm, I'm supposed to be a reference to Jackie O. But I, I swear, I thought you were going to say I smoked a, a pack of... Uh, Sex. I smoked a packet of sex. How do That's how does how does one stuff. smoke a packet of sex? I smoke sex? I don't know. Is, it, sex? Is sex. it like smoking salmon? <laughs> yeah. On the grill, That's I correct. smoked some sex, and then I fed it to my family, and they were like, "This That's is correct. this is good sex." <laughs> you know what? Yes, Mike, you are always right. No, I am not. And, Don't do that. Don't be like that. Don't and, do that. Don't be like that. Don't do that. Stop smoking sex, damn it. Yeah. Damn it. I'm Gumby. I'm Gumby, damn it. <laughs> oh. Hey, uh, hey, my name is Gumby. And now, the architect scared. And now, Buckwheat sings the hits. I think that should be a tax on people standing in water. No. Oh. I'm standing in the water. My brain hurts. Working Punub in all so the long you. paces. Working Punub. Why is, why is Elver Fun singing looking for it's love? buckwheat. I but we buy my album, it ote. Working for love in all the walk places. Oh, that would explain why uh, Elmer Fudd always fell for uh, Bugs Bunny and drag. You know, I suspect that he knew it was Bugs and he was just very attracted to Bugs, and that's okay. I mean, to be fair, Bugs is very attractive in drag. I will. No, like, and both I Yosemite like and cock. Elmer uh, fell for it. Hey, listen. Some of those outfits that Bugs wore, it's like, okay. All right, I, I, I can see I why. Oh, my penis is rigidy, spidgety, bidgety, bidgety. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> you weren't exactly right. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the rudest, stupidest <laughs> tongue job. Department. I'm gonna give you the rudest, stupidest rim job you ever seen. This side of the pickles pinging. Hey, hey, move over. I want to take a piece of that course. <laughs> Hey, knock it off, you two. There's enough big chungus for all of you. <laughs> Taffy's in the corner jacking off. Oh, you're despicable. <laughs> you're despicable. You're despicable. I gotta keep it. He uses the spit from his from when he's saying words as lube. That's correct. <laughs> I'll say, I say, I say, you old people are all fucking crazy. Is is uh, Daffy's uh, corkscrew penis? Now I get the irony. I say Holy I get the irony. Idiot. I say I get the irony that I'm a giant cock. You see. <laughs> <laughs> believe I say, boy. Believe me, the irony is not lost on me. 
<laughs> and I'm a chicken hawk. <laughs> That's I, I don't know why. <laughs> Hello, I am tapping at you. I am a sex offender. <laughs> oh hi, I'm Dan Schneider. Nice to meet you. <laughs> we should make. Yeah, we, should, we should make a. We should do a kids variety show <laughs> together. Say, Patty, can I see your? Can I see your skunky feet? <laughs> His pants immediately explode. Come on. God, just like that. But but instead of instead I guess, of uh, I guess this was all that. <laughs> ah ah! He said the thing. He said the thing. Fresh out the box. I wonder I, what that. I wonder I what guess, that means in context to Dan Schneider. Now. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I guess when it comes to kicks, that was a roundhouse. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. You get it because that was a Nickelodeon show in the nineties. <laughs> yes, Dan Schneider, really the secret world of Alex Mack. <laughs> what? <laughs> the secret world of dragging your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I know what the secret world of Alex Mack was. <laughs> it was. It was. He was. It was a Dan Schneider was paying Josh Peck hush money. <laughs> That's the secret world of Alex Smack. What about what, what was the other one? The Secret Life of Alan Strange or something like that? Uh, or something the like Secret that. Word of, Ab of Shelby Woo? Oh, the Mystery Files of Shelby Woo. No, why was, is, why, is, why Shelby was every Woo. Nickelodeon show was the blank blank of person's name? That doesn't make any sense. Because they, they, they liked Mad Men. The Wild Exploration. Yeah. Of why don't they do? Why didn't they just call it the wild explanations of Clarissa Darling? <laughs> because Clarissa <laughs> explained it all. Okay. Yeah. I guess she could have couldn't explain that. Well, I guess they couldn't explain why Dan Schneider like feet. Na 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 na. <laughs> Give me your feet. Na 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 na. <laughs> See, just you don't me. realize this, but just. No, 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 no. The na 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 was her saying no to Dan Schneider. <laughs> yeah, how how did Melissa Joan Hart turn out okay? That doesn't make any sense. Well, how come I guess it, that was a show Ariana, that wasn't produced by him. I'll just say, how did Ariana Grande he, he, get fucked up, but uh, not Melissa Joan Hart? It's it's simple. He started after that show. That's fair enough. Well, he he got his, his he got to start with general. all that because. I watched all four episodes of that Quiet on the Set, and he got his start and his foot in the door there with Nickelodeon <laughs> with all that. He he got his foot in the door to get everybody else's foot in his door. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it, it all started with all that. And he actually was going to try to ride Amanda Bynes' coattails as a meal yeah, ticket, his, her coattails if he's if she's lucky. Out of Nickelodeon to the CW. <laughs> uh, Sounded like he was trying to ride something else. Of except Bynes. that no. didn't work out because he didn't he didn't get along with the writers on Amanda Bynes' show on the CW. Are you talking about what I like about you? Got kicked off. Uh, I, I don't know if that was the name of the show. I'm or not. Sure I just know like it ran for like I, four seasons. The only one I can think of that was that Amanda Bynes was involved in. The uh, see Dan Schneider yeah. sold all that, and uh, he got so excited he made it all splash. It, it's it's horrible considering that that was actually like the name of one of Nickelodeon's like. Channels at one point was the, the splat. splat. It's true. And now it's time for another Snick on Air Dare. Today, the cast of all that is going to put their feet in Dan Schneider's mouth. Okay, so seriously, that was one of the segments that they talked about on Quiet on the Set was the on air dares. And how a lot of them were very uncomfortable with that because it's like, we are going to cover you in peanut butter. Mm <laughs> hmm. 
And then a bunch of dogs are gonna show up and lick it off of you. Hmm. How about no? No, it happened. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, it happened. Oh, to that one was of the one kids. of them. Yeah, like I, I legitimately feel bad for so many of them because, like, granted, I was in high school when all of this stuff was going on, and they were younger than me, but they had like my dream job at that age of something that I had always wanted to do, and they went through hell because of it. Yeah. True. Very true. Oh. But, like, yeah. Even even, even as a kid growing up, uh, remember, uh, I, I can't remember her name, but she was the original small girl on all that. Who, Katrina uh, Johnson? She played... Uh, yeah, Katrina Johnson, how she played like Ross Perot and stuff like that. And they Apparently, basically Dan Schneider her. was enamored with her. Yeah, she was the original Amanda Bynes. Until she hit puberty. Oh, God forbid she, you know, grow up. Because because they said, oh, she's looking a little fat. We already have a fat That's kid. That's not fat. That's puberty. I mean, yeah, yes, no, like, breasts are she fat. She was a freaking but... Dancer, she was a freaking dancer and had dance class six days a week. And they're like, "We already have a fat girl. Can she lose some more weight?" Little did she realize that she was the one who introduced them to Amanda Bynes through the children's workshops that they had at the Laugh Factory. She literally introduced them to her own replacement. Oh, I and I and I and, then, and by the way, it's that really sucks because I've seen Amanda Bynes now and I've seen Katrina Johnson now, and quite frankly, Katrina Johnson looks way better. Oh <laughs> Amanda, yeah, jo and Amanda Bynes is a fucking train wreck. Katrina Johnson looks actually decently attractive, and is a. I mean, looks like Amanda a Bynes has fucking, a tattoo on her face. Amanda Bynes is a tattoo on her face. <laughs> <laughs> anyway oh i mean dan, dan schneider thought it was appropriate to have a you know preteen going around claiming that her character's name was penelope taint taint disgusting disgusting gee i wonder no, why they've never replayed any episodes of the amanda like show Meanwhile, he's asking every female uh, freaking uh, staff member to rub his shoulders for him. Actually, yeah, no, that was a thing. Actually, you you can watch Amanda show on on Paramount Plus. I forgot about that. <laughs> a mountain of disappointment. Yeah. Doom, 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 doom. I actually have to get going because I have to record an episode of the oh, Performers Island. Uh. I actually didn't realize we were that we were that into this that far into this close episode. to an hour, uh, a little over an hour actually. We're at an hour and three we're minutes. <laughs> so yes, uh, well, well, I mean we we did so, have to reset because of that depth. So yeah, so that that's that's all right. I'll just do this. There we go. All right, thank you guys for joining us for this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do. Please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Forgione and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Backseat Gamer. <laughs> <laughs>